<laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to Ellie Flatten Outdoors. If you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I haven't posted a video in like over two months. And I'm sorry about that, I've been super busy. Um, as you can see behind me, might be a new setting for some of you. This is actually my house. I moved out of my parents' house. Over the past two months, I've learned that being an adult sucks. It sucks. Since I haven't posted a video in like two months, I wanted the first upload of the season to be an absolute banger for you guys. So um, I tried to focus my attention with the camera more on what's going on below the ice rather than what's going on above the ice. Over the past few days, I have captured tons and tons and tons of sucker minnows getting axe murdered on camera by those vicious little slime balls. And uh, we got some huge fish in the process too. Pike have some pretty gnarly teeth. Um, so in pike fishing, either use a wire leader or use fluorocarbon. Me, I'm a big fluorocarbon guy. This here is 60 pound line. I've heard of guys getting away with uh, like 15 pound line, but I bought 60 and it worked just fine. Um, we still had tons of bites. Watching the fish on the camera, the fish, it literally seemed like they could not see this. So, um, the big thing about fluorocarbon, underwater, it's virtually invisible. Um, the abrasion resistance, to me, just about as good as wire. Um, but it's clear, so why, why use the wire? The rig that I use to catch all the fish in the video, it's pretty simple. Um, I've got my treble hook, my spinner for some extra added bling, and um, I think in some states you're required to have these, in some states you're not, but I think it actually helps with uh, calling more fish in. Your main line, then your swivel. When I'm pike fishing um, and I got my sucker minnow, I'll take that back tail and I'll pinch it off and that way that minnow, he can't make big loops around the hole for those days that the fish aren't so aggressive. But on the days that the fish are on fire, there's really no need that I've come to find out. All right guys, I had an absolute blast filming the clips you guys are about to see. Hopefully you guys enjoy them as much as I did filming them. So thanks guys, enjoy. Salvage him. Is he big? I don't know. Oh, keep attention, keep attention. It's <laughs> a baby. Look at that. It's a little squirt, though. Oh, it just stopped spinning. No, it's still going. Oh, please be a big one. We're almost spooled here. It's just a little guy. Just a little guy. I've had plenty of these little dudes today. Uh, I can't just cooperate, can they? Just another little beauty. Really healthy fish, but there's just... The big ones just ain't on so far, but... We've seen them down there. We'll get him back. There he goes.
off to the side too. Yeah, he's still on him. He's on there. Oh, oh. Megan! No! <laughs> oh. Is he still on? Yep. He's making two huge head shakes. Here, get the camera set up good this way. This might be the fish you've been waiting for. say he's an absolute monster, but he's definitely bigger than the fish we've been catching. He's actually got some weight to him. Let's see the sinker. I mean, this isn't, this is no 40 incher, but God, I bet he's probably 34, 35. Just a beautiful fish. Got, I'm gonna get him back in the shack. It is cold as hell out here. He's out here for too much longer. His fins will freeze up and it'll be no good for him. So let's get him back to the shack. No harm, no foul to that beauty. Oh, he's still on there. That is a beautiful fish. Awesome fight, awesome bite. We're gonna get him back in the lake. Come on, big girl. Head back down. Started kicking. We got us a flag, ladies and gentlemen. It's spinning. And this is the one where we got three big bites. We caught one and Eric lost the other two. Things just slowly going. Let's we'll see what we got though. Wow, that's a freaking tank, dude. Dude, let me get the knocks on that just before we get any further. All right, you want to measure my camera? Yeah. We got Eric, a 38 inch absolute monster of a fish. Almost flops right back down the hole. Looking at about 38 inches. Uh, give or take 15 pounds, right around there. Uh, PB by a long shot, through the ice by any means. 
Um, let's get him back in. Right off. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, it's a giant! Yeah, I would have thought that like a, a perch like that would be too, like like a shot would be too big for it. I know. We kept a shatter down there besides the sucker that made me get a bass to come in a little more aggressively. This guy just came out of nowhere. Right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, <laughs> 